What's good, YouTube? LeVar here, and I'm back with another NBA 2K24 Tips and Tricks video. It's been a while, but I'm back, you know what I'm saying? And I'm back for real, you feel me? I got y'all with a whole bunch of videos I want to drop. I got y'all with a whole bunch of streams. I'm back streaming on the YouTube, so y'all can watch me play live. You can get advice from me live while I'm streaming on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I'm back with these tips, so that way I can make sure I'm helping y'all out. And while I'm also helping myself out, you know what I'm saying? Teaching myself, making myself better every time I play. You feel me? Um, We're going to talk about rap. We're gonna, I'm going to give you five more tips. If you missed the other video that I dropped about rap a few months ago, go check that video out. I'll drop a link in the description if you don't know what I'm talking about. That's a lot of good advice in there, a lot of good tips and tricks that you can easily do and implement to make yourself better off bucks. You feel me? Before I get in this video again, let me make sure... You tell you guys my apologies for being gone for too long but i'm back tip number one putbacks implement putbacks bro putbacks are crazy good crazy op in this game okay when i say that i mean it's so much more common now than it's ever been in any 2k they completely reinvented the putback system on this game you feel me putbacks as long as you time it right as long as you got aerial wizard as long as you got a high dunk you can easily get a putback but make sure you time it right. You have to time it right. As soon as that ball bounces off the rim, you have to time it right as soon as that happens. You feel me? All you got to do is do the same controls you do for regular dunking. So hold your sprint button, and then you hold the shoot button. But you got to do that right when the ball hit the rim. And you got to be at the right angle, too. You can't have somebody... Well, you can have somebody in front of you while you're trying to do it. But it's very unlikely you'll get a contact put back. I've gotten a couple of them. But it's very hard to do that. It's really, it's really a lower chance. So my best bet would be, you know what I'm saying, go for a putback when there's nobody right there and you know you got the good angle, you feel me? It's going, it's going to happen automatically, you feel me? Also, don't think that you'll be able to spam them because that's probably not going to be happening. I'm not saying that they implemented it to the point where it's OP, but they implemented it in this 2K to the point where it's so common that you see everybody doing it. You know what I'm saying? I've got a lot of clips of doing putback downs, you feel me? Tip number two for dominating rec in 2K24. Do not, and I seriously mean this, I hate when I see this when I walk into the rec. Do not use seven foot three and seven two cents. Those are dead. There's no need. You're a liability if you're using those. I don't care what nobody say. You're slow, you're sluggish. There's no need. You can do everything you need to do, but be way faster, way quicker at seven foot. Or seven one. I don't even want to make seven foot one no more. I'd rather do six eleven or seven foot. To be honest, if you ask me, I'm not making no seven foot three seven two. It's no point. First of all, the inch differential, the inch inches, blah, the inches difference between a seven three and a seven foot zero center, for example, it's not noticeable in game. I promise it's not noticeable. You go into a game with a seven footer and you go up against a seven foot three, you will automatically forget he's seven foot three because you probably can't even tell because they're so close in height. Okay, just the same for six eleven and seven foot. I've been seeing a lot of people say, oh, you make a six eleven center, you go up against a seven foot or a seven foot one, they're gonna dog you out because they taller. Bro, in game that shit does not make a difference. I'm telling you, if you know what you're doing. You've been playing this game for a while. You've been playing 2K for years. You know how to play the game. You know how to do this. You know how to do that. Blah, 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 blah. You'll be fine. I promise you. You don't need to make them tall ass centers slow as hell with a 40 and 50 speed. You know what I'm saying? First of all, speed kills. I don't, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the in a video before. But speed kills, okay? If you are fast for a center, that is a, that is a huge advantage, okay? It's a huge advantage if you got high speed, high acceleration. You feel me? Tip number three. I have, don't know what the fuck thing is to put up. But tip number three, learn the rebound bounces, okay? You will get so much more rebounds if you can guess where the ball will bounce based on where the person shot it from, where the person, uh, 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 the way the ball is going up in the air, the way the arc is, the way it's da 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 you know what I'm saying? For example, if someone shoots a deep three, most likely the ball will bounce far away from the rebound, from, from the rim, sorry. If a person is shooting a free throw, for example, and they get a late release. I'm pretty positive that is going to hit the front of the rim, okay? <laughs> it's easy for me because I've been playing the game for a long time. And I played center in real life. I played center in real life. I played center in 2K. I've been playing and learning about basketball for so long that learning rebound bounces is not hard for me no more. I can gamble with a rebound going to bounce like it's nothing. 
and people who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you got to start paying attention more to where the ball bounces based on the way it's going to the rim or the way the person shot the ball or, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of hard. I'm not going to say this is a simple tip. This is kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. I feel like you got to have some type of high IQ when it comes to basketball, when it comes to 2K to really get this down pat, you feel me? Um... Before I get into the next two tips, make sure you hit that like button for me. Make sure you sub up if you haven't already. I promise you, you will not regret it. Make sure you leave a comment. I read all my comments. If you want a heart from your boy, I got you. I give you a little heart in the comments if you want a heart from your boy, LaVar. <laughs> but anyways, tip number four. When you get an offensive rebound, please, for the love of God, I see this so much. You do not have to put it back up. Dish it out to an open man okay you get an offensive rebound a lot of times some people are cherry picking down the court for a fast break some people are collapsing for the rebound you know what i'm saying leaving their man open and you got an opportunity to get an assist always do not play selfish you play selfish you try to go up back back up when you get an offensive rebound because you want to get your own buckets you're like i want to get my bucket i got two points I got, I got i got one point let me go get my own bucket i got an offensive rebound. i'm dunking this no because most of the time you do that shit, you're going to miss, or you're going to get blocked, or, or something stupid going to happen. Make the right play, dish out that offensive rebound. It's okay. It's okay if you don't get a lot of points, bro. That's what some people need to realize. As a center, you know what I'm saying, you might not have the most points all the time. You're not the first option. Centers are not the first option. At the end of the day, the first option is the point guard, because they run the show. You got to play your role. It's not the wrong with playing your role. You want to win, and I know this is a game, it's not real life. I understand people be like, this ain't any door, this ain't real life, this is a game, I want to play the game to have fun. Look, my version of having fun on 2K is playing the right way, okay? Playing the right way to win. I want to win the game. You want to win the game? Stop having an ego, play to win. Make the right choice, make the right decisions, you feel me? Dish out that offensive rebound to the open man. You don't got to go back up and force it. You see your man open? It's a reason why I average a triple-double. I literally, I literally average a triple-double in 2K right now with random wreck. Random wreck. Because I play smart and I play selflessly. I don't like to play I don't like to play selfishly to the point where I'm over here making choices that's hurting the team as a whole, making us lose instead of making the right choices, you feel me? So dish out them offensive rebounds to the open man, because most likely it's somebody open when you get an offensive rebound. You just gotta look. Make sure your camera zoomed out enough too. You just gotta look, pull up your icons, quickly icon pass to them. Boom. Wide open three. Bang. You know what I'm saying? Tip number five. In the last tip of the video, if you jump early for a rebound, hold your rebound button. So that's triangle on PlayStation or Xbox, that's why. If you jump early, because I do this sometimes, and this is something I found out last year. If you've been watching my videos since 2K23, you know I talked about this last year. It works in this game too. It works in this game too. You jump early on the rebound, and you know you jumped early on accident, because sometimes you just, sometimes you get, you know what I'm saying, your thumb get a little itchy, get a little trigger finger, you know what I'm saying? Just hold it down. Don't let go. You know what I'm saying? This, this is like an on-the-spot thing that I just started doing one time, and I've seen that it worked because somehow it delays your jump from jumping early, and then you end up jumping when the ball hits the rim, which is when you're supposed to jump, so you can get the rebound. You feel me? Um, it works really well. If you don't believe me, try it yourself. Try it yourself. If you don't believe me, pop into my streams, and I will tell you, oh, I jumped early. Oh, I still got it. Oh, because I held the button down. I held Y. I'm on Xbox. So I held the Y button down. You feel me? But anyways, that's it for this video. I'm not going to hold y'all up too long. I appreciate you if you made it to the end of this video. Make sure you turn on the post notifications so you can see when I drop another video or when I go live on this here YouTube channel because I will be on here every day. I got no choice. Got to do what I got to do. And I miss y'all. You know what I'm saying? I miss doing this. This was, this was cool. You feel me? We're just going to gonna have to go crazy and grind. You feel me? I appreciate you. I hope you have a blessed day. You know what I'm saying? God bless you. And I'm out, bro. Peace.